Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I have loved camp kettles ever since I got my first one, which is a really tiny little Trangia aluminum kettle a long time ago. And I've kind of been collecting them ever since. I mean, I've discovered that like stoves, you really can't have too many kettles. And I never had a titanium kettle until now. Now, titanium is a pretty hot button topic. There's no lack of opinions on the metal itself and whether or not it makes for good camping cookware or not. Now, titanium's not cheap, but it's super lightweight. And to be honest with you guys, I've probably had titanium cookware now for eight to 10 years for the outdoors. And I can't remember any of them ever messing up or failing. I haven't had anything warp or really go out of shape. I've used them over like really strong stoves. I've even used titanium over an open fire and I've really never had a problem. I've always loved having a kettle, but I didn't really want to carry the extra weight. So I figured if I was going to carry a kettle, I'd probably carry a titanium one. Let me show you guys what I picked up. So this is the Boundless Voyage 700 milliliter kettle with the folding handle. It's got a nice carrying case. As you can see, it's got nice tough material. It's got this this kind of bead around the outside, which gives it some structure. Uh, it's fairly heat proof, so you can put it back in there when it's still hot and it's okay. Pull it out here. There's our kettle. The dimensions with the handle extended are 2.5 by 5.7 by 5.3. It's got a very nice 3.3 inch opening. It weighs 5.7 ounces, made out of titanium in China. Cost is $49.89. There's a one liter version available at the time of filming for $59.89. I'll double check that and put it down below. And of course, there's always links down below to these guys if you're interested in them. I do put Amazon affiliate links down below. If you guys are interested in helping the channel out, you can always jump on one of those and I get a very small portion of the money you spend on Amazon if you uh, buy during that visit. So I never say that, but it is down there. As far as features go, I do like the fact that it has a locking um, handle. It kind of locks in this position. It locks in the center position, which is the biggest thing. And that way it doesn't tip. You can put it this way. You can put it this way. But it's got these little detents. I don't know if you can see it right there. I'll try to zoom in for you guys. But it's pretty nice. It has this comfort handle, which is really cool. Now, if you look at this and you think, okay, this is nice. It's comfortable. Um, you know, you, you, it can be hot, but if you put it over an open flame, then you got big problems because this is going to melt, right? Even though it's relatively heat proof, it's going to melt. That's fine. Just take it off. Put it over an open flame. You're good to go. You also have this um, here, which I think is going to be a lot less susceptible to heat. So I think it's fine to leave that on even over an open flame. You can take this off if you're really nervous about it. What's really going to be an issue is this handle. So. Very simple little design. And you want to put it back on, you just slide it on like that and it stays on there very, very nicely. It's got an easy pour spout. As you can see, it's got a little, little point there. As I said, it's got an excellent carrying case and I really like the fact that it comes with a large opening. This, more than anything, it, obviously it's nice to pour water into it, but it is super nice for storing gear inside of it. I'm gonna show you guys a little closer up. You can see. You can see that I've used this thing quite a bit. I really like this particular kettle. I've put it over an open flame multiple times, uh, just testing it, and it's worked really, really well. There it is. Let me show you guys how we'll use it to make some coffee this morning.
So as always guys, let's go pros and cons. We're gonna start with the pros. Of course, weight is important. This one, as we said, is 5.5 ounces. An aluminum one, similar size, is probably six and a half to seven ounces and stainless steel is probably about a pound. It's got that really nice removable heat protector on the handle. The handle kind of locks into place. It has little detents that allows it to lock, and that locking handle really helps prevent spills, especially when you're using it over an open fire. The spout is really easy to pour out of. It's got a nice big opening on top to pour water in, and it's got a very nice carrying case, something not to be overlooked. If you watch my channel, you know I'm all about those carrying cases. As far as cons go, really it's just the cost. I don't, I don't have anything else. It's just the cost. I really like the kettle otherwise. So would I recommend this kettle? Yeah, I mean, why not? I love the kettle. I think it's great. I think if you're looking for something really functional, really lightweight, uh, you can't go wrong. Sure, it's more expensive than other stainless steel or aluminum. Uh, a lot of people don't like cooking on aluminum. There's a lot of talk about aluminum and toxicity and people say that I'm a doctor and I shouldn't talk about it. Look, anyway, if you don't want aluminum, just get a titanium, spend a little bit more money. When you deal with a lot of gear, it doesn't take a long time to really know the minute you pick it up that you're gonna like it. And I knew it all along with this particular product. The minute I got it, I looked at the carrying case, I looked at the product, I just really liked it. I've used it quite a bit. Um, I've really enjoyed using it and it finally was time to make a review video. You can see on the shots probably it's been over in a fire, it's got tar all over it and charring and stuff. It's, it's just been a really great kettle. It feels high quality and that's the biggest thing. You put your hands on something and you feel high quality. And I really like how you can take the heat protector on and off. There's nothing worse than putting something like this, a product like this over an open flame and a part of it melting that just wasn't designed to be over an open flame. You know, you get under a controlled environment like a canister stove or something, no problem. You can control the heat source but you hang this over an open fire and things can get out of hand really quickly. So just take that little silicone, little uh, heat protector off, put it right over it. When you're done, put it back on, good to go. That is nice work from Boundless Voyage. I don't know what you guys think about this or do any of you have this product? Do you like it? Do you think it's terrible? Leave it down in the comments below. We can all take it, we're all adults here. We'd love to hear what everybody has to say about this product. So leave it down below. If you're not subscribed guys, do me a favor, hit that subscription button, really helps spread the, uh, spread the channel across YouTube. Liking the video, giving the thumbs up, uh, hitting the notification bell, that's all awesome stuff. But really the subscription is key. So if you could hit that subscription button, you won't miss any more videos. So is it too expensive? Is titanium terrible? Should I stick to aluminum? Will aluminum kill you? Only stainless steel? You know, you're a wuss if you don't carry 80 pounds in the backpack? Whatever. Let me know down below. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon. <laughs>